Philip Jason was a Korean doctor, surgeon, journalist, activist, politician, educator, and a noted champion for Korea's independence. His Korean birth name was So Jae Pil and was born as the second son of a local magistrate on January 7, 1864. When he was a teenager, he already displayed modern political ideas. He passed the civil service exam at the age of 18, one of the youngest persons to ever pass this exam, and became a junior officer in 1882. In 1884, Soje Pil was involved in the Gaspin coup, a radical attempt to overturn the old regime and establish equality among people. The coup was aborted in three days as China intervened by sending military troops. Convicted of treason, So Jinping lost his whole family and had to flee Korea to save his life. In the United States, So Jinping attended the Harry Hillman Academy in Philadelphia and he began to use the name Philip Jason at the time. In 1890, he became the first Korean American to acquire U.S. citizenship. He studied medicine at the George Washington University and was the first Korean to receive an American medical degree in 1892. In 1894, he married Muriel Armstrong, a niece of the former President of the United States, James Buchanan, and had two daughters, Stephanie and Muriel. In 1894, Japan defeated China in the war which occurred in the Korean Peninsula and Korean cabinet was filled in reformists. Among with these political changes, the treason of the Gaspin coup were pardoned enabling Jason's return to Korea in 1895. In Korea, he wanted to politically educate people in politics by publishing a newspaper, the Independent Newspaper, to transform Korean people into informed citizens. He for the first time started to print his newspaper entirely in Korean language and not in Chinese to extend readership to lower classes in women. In the United States, Jason conducted medical research at the University of Pennsylvania and later became a successful printer and stationer in Philadelphia. As he heard the news of the March 1st movement, a nationwide protest against ruthless Japanese rule in Korea, Jason devoted his energies for the freedom of Korea. He organized the League of Friends of Korea in 26 cities and published a political journal called Korea Review to inform the American public to support the freedom of Koreans. During World War II, he volunteered as a physical examination officer with the belief that the victory of the U.S. would bring freedom to Korea. Jason returned to Korea once again after Japan's defeat in the World War II. The U.S. military government, which has in control of the southern part of Korea, invited him to serve as chief advisor. He decided to return to the United States in 1948 and died in 1951 during the Korean War. Today, there are countless foundations, scholarships, medical services, social services, educational services, and other services to Korean Americans and others in order to promote their participation and contribution to America in the spirit of Dr. Philip Jason, a pioneer, a true patriot, a loyal citizen of Korea and America.